Hi everyone, Colin Whitenack here, and this is a follow-up video to 2020's famous video of uh, Average Joe Gardening with my friend Catherine. <laughs> All right, so Catherine, last time yes. we talked, it was middle of May last year, mm -hmm. and your garden was basically, you're about to plant. Yep. You planted a couple things. Well, we got to it earlier this year, and it's mid-March, and you're also in your new place. Yes. So uh, she loved that house on Decatur, but um, she sold that and we found her a new place down here in Inglewood. So tell us a little bit about your new place. Yeah, so the new place uh, moved so I'd be closer to friends um, and this greenhouse was a big selling point for me so I could expand my gardening skills. And is, does this garden, does this... My understanding is this greenhouse was used to raise orchids before. It was. It's even got a swap cooler yep. up to it. Does is all this stuff necessary no, for no, no. someone to garden? No, no, no. That's I'm happy to hear that because I'm going to garden this year and I don't have this. You don't need the greenhouse. All right, great. So what are you what are you using this space for? Right now I'm using it mostly to prep my seeds. Eventually I will have beds in here to extend my growing season so I can plant my stuff earlier in the spring and leave it later in the fall. But you're a pretty serious gardener. Yes, I would say so. Would, it, would you call this your favorite spring activity? Yes, oh yeah, definitely. Have you ever ridden a motorcycle or played golf? Uh, yes, to both of those. But Gardening is still your favorite? Yeah, mm -hmm, mm, definitely. All right, cool. I mean, maybe gardening will be my third favorite. Okay. <laughs> All right, um, so why don't you show us what you're doing right now and okay. in here, and I can get tips for what I'm going to do in my yard. Okay. Voila. Yeah, now do, do you get the house in the background? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so still cold outside, obviously. I'm cool today, even though the sun's out. And we should have a little more cold weather, but these ones are going to make it. Yep. All right. Stuff that's frost hardy um, and likes a bit of cold, I already planted outside. So peas, spinach, parsley, carrots especially, um, radishes, and cabbage, and kale. Um, so all of these are my more tolerant to cold temperature vegetables. And then on the inside, you've got some things going. So. Um... I need to do some planting at my house, so... Do you need some help? Oh my god, I would love some help. Thank you so much for offering. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the nicest lady ever. <laughs> I'll see you this week at my house. Sounds great. Yay! <laughs> and action. Okay, well, now we're at my house. And I thought what we could do today is uh, you could start to prep my garden. Excuse me? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Come on. Look at this mess. This should have been taken care of in the fall. So you have some work to do. This well, weekend. I thought that maybe all these plants in here with the snow would bring the nutrients from the dead plants. I see. To into a, the soil. It's a good thought, but it's best to do fall cleanup. Put down some. Um, what I like to do is put a layer of compost down so that falls through and the rest of the soil soaks that up all winter long as well as then a layer of uh, leaves on top when I'm raking up leaves so I'm it's gonna, okay that you didn't do this in the fall but yes you have some homework here I'll have to talk to my people about yeah, this yeah talk to, talk to your people <laughs> okay so what are what 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 do we need to do today okay so I have corn I have tomatoes and I have onions okay so and you have spinach the spinach is going to go directly into this bed once you clean it up. The spinach, it's a hardier uh, vegetable, so it likes some of this cold uh, weather. Because it's April 1st today. Yes, April 1st today. Um, the corn will also be directly sown into the bed, um, but that we won't do that until after the last frost. I'm so, going to sow corn? Sow. S O W. That sounds so farmy. <laughs> so. I'm gonna sow some corn. So today I think we will just do your tomato and onions bunching. The onions could be started in here, but um, what I'd recommend is starting some under the grow lights and then once you clean this mess up, you can direct sow some in here. Okay. 
Okay. Well, at least you're not overly critical about what I'm doing. No, done here. never. <laughs> I don't think it's that bad. Okay. Okay, so I got pea pods. Pea pots. Uh -huh. Pea pots <laughs> to plant them in. Yep. Which I think isn't exactly what I was supposed to get, but they're gonna these, work. These will work. Um, usually you start out in smaller cells, but this is totally fine and you won't have to transplant them into a bigger um, pot as many times. Okay. So you want to fill them with soil. So I've already started. If you wanna finish these. Um, as mentioned before, we want to use a seed starting mix. It's really important to have the right nutrients in the soil. I bought miracle Grow. No. And you rejected it. Well, my issue with that is, be especially if you buy from the larger chain stores, you don't know exactly how fresh that soil truly is. So I prefer to go to the local nurseries, which I enjoy supporting them anyway. Um, or there's this great company, Gardener Supply, online okay. that I like. So we fill them. Um, the soil needs to be damp, so I'm going to go behind you and add some water before we do our seeds. Okay. Yes. If you're working in the garden, you're getting messy. Getting down and dirty, but so, we're not doing spinach. Nope. No. So your seed packets will tell you everything you need to know. So you can see for the onion, we need to do a quarter of an inch to a half inch deep. And it'll take 10 to 12 days to germinate. So you won't see anything for 10 to 12 days. So you can do that one. And I will do the tomatoes, which is also a quarter of an inch deep. Right, how many of these am I doing? Like six, eight? S uh, eight for you. Okay, and it doesn't need to be an exact science. Um, and you want to do a couple whoop, seeds. I mean, there's like a gajillion <laughs> seeds in there. Do I have any tomato <laughs> seeds left? Or are they all down there? Yes. You want to do a couple seeds per pot. Because, so like two of each of these. Uh, I would do, I do, I do three or four, They're which tiny. is, which is generous, but, um, you know, you put in so much effort to do this. Uh, I just want to make sure that I end up with a seed. Some growth. With some growth. So, you know, you could do two. Like I said, I do three to four just to hedge my bets. Well, I still use like one one hundredth of this packet. Right, exactly. There's so many in a packet. Um, so I got to push them down now? Um, I then or just, I just sprinkle dirt on top. Dirt on top. Well, all I have to say is oops, because um, apparently my memory card was full and it stopped filming right there. So I'm gonna have to finish up with this up on my own. I didn't realize that until a day too late. Anyway, how we finished up is I'm gonna clean up my own garden bed and all those are planted and now they are in my basement. They are underneath one of these LED lights. Um, I bought this LED light off of Amazon. It was a set of two for like 40 or 50 bucks. I thought that might be kind of useful and I should start to see production in the next couple weeks. Um, I just want to wrap up by saying thanks for watching the video. If you like it, please subscribe, hit the like button below. That's really helpful to me. I also want to thank my uh, friend Catherine for being hilarious and awesome and doing these videos with me. Uh, I know we really enjoy doing them together. And um, again, thanks for watching. If you're interested in buying, selling, or investing in real estate, don't be afraid to reach out. I'm always here to help you. Thanks again, and I look forward to seeing you again next time.